What is up, everybody? It's Ryan. I live in Cambodia and I make barts. That's video art. You're not still watching vlogs, are you? Ew. I've got a super useful video for you guys today. Shout out to Safety Wing for partnering with me on this one. More on them in a bit. Today I'm giving you all the must download, must follow, must buy, all the things you need to prepare yourself for a trip or to move to Cambodia. It's a pretty big vart I'm about to blast in your face. We're gonna start with the basics. Apps you probably already have, but I'm gonna give you some Cambodia insight on them. Google Maps is alive and well in Cambodia. Personally, I think it's the best app for reviews, whether it be for restaurants or hotels. My Google Maps for Phnom Penh looks like some sort of teenager going through puberty. Lots of favorites, lots of want to goes. Facebook is also popular for businesses here. Many businesses will have a Facebook page and some will use it. You can contact them through it. But the Facebook community is also very alive when it comes to groups. Expats in Cambodia or Cambodia expats. These are good for general information about what's happening in Cambodia. If you have visa questions, maybe you're hoping to move here and need a business visa, the Cambodia Visa and Work Permit Group is a good one to join. Phnom Penh Housing, there are a bunch of these apartment search ones. When you're actually here and you're ready to see some apartments, these groups are probably your best source, but they can also help you ahead of time with budgeting, getting a sense of how much you'll need for rent when living in Cambodia. One of my most visited groups is where to get stuff in Phnom Penh. Let's see. I wonder if I can get throwing stars. What? Oh, okay. That was a bad example. Ignore that. That was weird. Let's look for Frank's Red Hot, my favorite hot sauce. Oh, we got some Frank's chatter here. Oh no. There was a Frank's shortage last summer. The great Frank's drought of 2023. Oh, an update. Looks like the Frank's is back on the shelves. Super duper to the rescue. Well, how super dupeful is this Facebook group? Pretty super duper, super dupe, super dupeful. What? All right, let's move over to YouTube. I watched a lot of Cambodia content when I was getting ready to move here. The best channel is called Itchy Feet and a really handsome guy runs it. He combs his hair really well. He's funny and he's one of the smartest people in the world. He's very humble. Check out that channel first and foremost. There's also a channel called For Real. They do great weekly news videos that will give you a good idea of what's going on in Cambodia. They also do vlogs about life in Siem Reap. If you're thinking about staying in Phnom Penh, Cambo Vlogs is a popular channel for a glimpse of daily life in Cambodia. The guy who runs it speaks Khmer and he's married to a Khmer girl, so he has an insight that most vloggers don't. I mean, it's not Bart level insight, but for a vlogger, it's pretty good. Then there are channels for more specific things. For example, if you're interested in investing in Cambodia, there's Musto Invest in Cambodia. If you wanna see the progression of infrastructure in Cambodia, Phnom Penh Walks is putting out videos almost daily. For food, there's no better channel than BT Food Story. They have over 3,000 videos, most of which are shot at local food places in Phnom Penh. If you're really into the Angkor temples, World's Forgotten Temples has like 200 temple videos from Cambodia. That's just a small sample of expat and local video makers. Have a look around and I'm sure you'll find something that fits your taste. Or you just watch Itchy Feet and that's, and that's it. If you've been telling people that you're about to go to Cambodia, you've probably come across the question, is it safe there? Uh, <laughs> yep, it's safe. Oh my God, Angelina Jolie said they are killing people in fields there. I don't think it's safe. Cambodia is a safe place, but of course you should always be a little bit concerned about safety, especially when you're so far from home. I've seen you on vacation. You make a lot of bad decisions while you're out there. Plus there are things here in Cambodia that you might not normally be concerned about, but are actually dangerous here. I think the best example of that would be mosquitoes. I have a cousin who traveled Southeast Asia and she ended up in the hospital for an entire week with dengue fever. Luckily, she had travel medical insurance so she didn't have to worry about the cost. She could concentrate on just getting healthy. I've done the search for insurance many times and it always left my head spinning. Deductibles, aggregate cost payments, capitation arrangements, supplement liability, asset adjusters. That last one I just made up, but you probably didn't realize it. Plus you've got your mom over your shoulder telling you she wants your body mailed to her when you die. That's some dark shit, mom. Luckily, I have found a company that provides an excellent service and doesn't make you want to cancel your trip just so you don't have to read boring insurance jargon. Blah, 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 supplement liability asset adjusters. This is Safety Wings Nomad Insurance, the nomad friendly travel medical insurance that will give you and your mom peace of mind while traveling in Cambodia and other countries. Over 180 of them, including surrounding Southeast Asia countries. I mean, look at these human bird hybrids. You just don't get that with other insurance companies. Safety Wings Nomad Insurance Plan has a $0 deductible, so you have total peace of mind that you're covered for even the smallest claims. Like the time I got bit by a dog in Ecuador. 
If at the time I had Safety Wings Nomad insurance, I definitely would have went and got a rabies shot instead of just ignoring it and saving a bit of money and risking getting rabies, which is incurable and apparently one of the worst ways to die. Hey, I was young and dumb. Actually, I was about 38, so I was dumb. Safety Wings subscription model is, it's like a gymnast. It's, it's very flexible. You pay every four weeks, you can cancel whenever you want. It's a total breeze to sign up. Seriously, it just takes five minutes. You could do it in the airport while you're waiting for your flight. It's all done online. And did I mention the crazy bird human hybrids on their website? I mean, that's worth checking out the website alone. Oh my God, this is fantastic. I wanna be birded. I feel like my bird would be a horn screamer because, well, that's personal. I've mentioned many times in the past how I love the scooter culture here in Cambodia, but I've always been a little bit reluctant to recommend renting a scooter and driving it here because it is dangerous and most insurance companies won't cover it. Safety Wings Nomad Insurance does cover accidents that occur on motorbikes up to 150 cc's as long as you have a license, you're wearing a helmet, you aren't drunk, and you're not driving like a moron. There's just nothing like the craziness of a moto-packed Phnom Penh rush hour. Or maybe you want to drive yourself out to the lesser known Angkor sites in Siem Reap, one of the best little outings I've done in Cambodia. You can do these things and you can have the peace of mind that you're covered if things go awry. Orion. <laughs> I went ahead and put a link in the description below. You can click that, get more details, or you can scan my head, which should currently be a QR code. Oh man, look at me, I'm so sick. I think I have a QR cold. I'm gonna have to go to the doctors. <coughs> Luckily, I'll be covered with zero deductible, all thanks to Safety Wing and their nomad-friendly travel medical insurance. Now let's talk about some apps that are widely used here, but are maybe not so popular in your home country. Nam24 is Cambodian born and raised. Actually, just recently they announced that they surpassed 1 million registered users. I think they're the first Cambodian app to accomplish this. They're a food delivery app. You can also book travel tickets, get groceries and other items, but I mainly use it for ordering takeout. Even if you're not gonna order any food, it's still useful to have just to discover restaurants and to check out their menus. If you're moving here, I think you're definitely gonna wanna get it. If you're just traveling through Cambodia, maybe you're going to some other Southeast Asian countries, then perhaps you wanna consider Food Panda instead. Personally, I like Nom24 better, but Food Panda is available in 12 countries while Nom24 is just for Cambodia. A quick note, if you do download the apps and you're having trouble signing in because they want a Cambodian phone number, you could try their websites instead. I'm pretty sure you can register on them with just an email address, but I'm not too sure about the apps. There's also Grab, which does food delivery as well, but Grab's main focus is ride hailing. It's the Uber of Southeast Asia. Grab works in Singapore, Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand, Philippines, Vietnam, Cambodia, and Myanmar. It's honestly a game changer. No more negotiating with drivers, no more trying to give directions to somebody who doesn't speak English. You can even add a credit card to it so you don't have to fumble with the local currency. I'm sure you're all familiar with Google Translate. Very useful here in Cambodia. And you can also download the offline translation file for Kamai. So you can translate even when you're not connected. Google Lens is another useful one. Just the other day, I found myself in a restaurant that didn't have an English menu. Luckily, Google Lens can translate text instantly. I've done a lot of research when it comes to booking hotels here in Cambodia. And I found that the best options are Agoda or booking directly through the hotel. The Agoda app is packed with information and you'll often find deals on it. But if you find a place you like, it doesn't hurt to send the hotel a message and see if you can get a cheaper rate. To do this, I usually check Google Maps for a phone number, or if they have a Facebook page, they'll sometimes have the phone number on it. WhatsApp is used in Cambodia, but some people prefer Telegram, which I don't think is as popular in North America or Europe, but it might be worth getting for your adventure to Cambodia. You just pop the hotel's number into your contacts, and then it should tell you whether it's connected to Telegram or WhatsApp, and you can send them a message and see if you can get a good deal. Facebook Messenger is also used here, but I find that Telegram and WhatsApp are more popular and you usually get a quicker response on them. If you're looking for something to do in Cambodia, a good place to start would be the Facebook events page. A lot of people post their events up on that. There are also some Facebook groups dedicated to events in Phnom Penh. There's also a relatively new app that allows you to buy tickets for events. It's called Live by Wonderpass. I can't say that I use it that often, but every once in a while a cool event pops up that I didn't know existed, like the time we went to see Kun Kamai, Cambodian kickboxing. If I didn't see it listed on Live by Wonderpass, I wouldn't have known about it and I would have missed out on an incredibly fun experience. Okay, let's talk items to buy in Cambodia, items you might wanna purchase in your home country before coming to Cambodia. To be honest, there really isn't that much that you can't get here. 
And a lot of what you can get here, you can get cheaper than in, in your home country. I would say electronics are probably going to be a little bit more money as are brand names that maybe you love that are harder to get here. Maybe if they're made in your home country, it's going to definitely be cheaper to get it in your home country. Mosquito repellent and sunscreen are two things that we usually buy outside of Cambodia, maybe if we're traveling or if we go back to Canada. If there is a specific product that you really like and you're worried that you're not going to be able to find it here in Cambodia, sup, my name's Hunter. The only thing I spray on my body is Axe Body Spray. Rocking the Bulba Smash Vanilla today, brah. One trick you can do to find out if they have a product that you like available in Cambodia is to check Nom24 or Food Panda, the delivery apps that I mentioned earlier. Hell yeah, brah. They got Dark Temptation at the G-Mart. G-Mart? If you just search something about buying Axe Body Spray on Google, you're going to find a few sites that claim that they sell it, but they're probably going to be shipping it from somewhere else, so the prices aren't accurate. I made this mistake when I was moving to Cambodia. I wanted to make sure they had some of that Nivea moisturizer I like. It's the best, brah. I looked it up and I saw the price on this random website. Didn't realize that it was like a shipping from the U.S. thing. And so I bought some Nivea moisturizer in Ecuador before I came. Got here, realized it was actually a little bit cheaper here. So, man, I'm still regretting that $3. Hard, man, hard. All the results you get on Food Panda or Nom24 are from actual stores, and those are the actual prices, no inflated prices on those apps. So it's a great way to check prices on things that you might want to buy in Cambodia just to see if it's cheaper to bring it from your home country. Also, keep in mind that most Cambodians are smaller than Westerners, so buying clothes or shoes here can sometimes be difficult because they might not have your size. I don't know what to tell you, but you probably shouldn't win so hard at Thanksgiving. Clothing is cheap in Cambodia, but if you're a bigger person, you're going to be very limited when it comes to clothing shopping. When it comes to underwear here, I'm actually a size XXX, XXX, XL. Seriously. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you with that. Leave you with thoughts of me and XXXXL underwear. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for plenty more Cambodia videos. Also, check the link below in the description link to the safety wing insurance that i recommend but most importantly take care comb your hair